This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Good evening. I'm Ariana Bennett. Landon has the week off. Thank you for joining us. Well, crews are making progress on a wildfire that burned more than 100 acres off of I-80 near Lockwood tonight. Had that fire forced a lane closure on westbound I-80 near the Lockwood exit earlier today, and that's where Chris Buckley is for us now. Now, Chris, is traffic back to normal at this point? It is. All the lanes have reopened and fire crews have a pretty good handle on this fire. Now, it started and it spread quickly in all directions. It's something that's pretty typical on a red flag day like today. The uh, low humidity makes the fuel more readily able to burn. Uh, the winds provide more air or oxygen to the fire, thus the fire can actually build more rapidly and it can also push the fire in the direction of the wind, thus causing a wind-driven fire. This fire quickly went from about 10 acres to more than 100, spreading out in all directions. At one time, crews were worried about a structure on a nearby construction site because the fire was spreading so quickly. Six different agencies joined forces to get things under control. There were two helicopters scooping water from the nearby Truckee and transporting it up that steep, rocky terrain. Fire officials say that air support made all the difference in the world, helping to stop the forward progress and get that building out of the danger zone. Today was yet another red flag day. The cause of this fire still under investigation. On red flag days, we want people to be extra careful because the risk is that much higher. So we ask that you avoid such activities as open fires, uh, using a lawnmower on a rock-filled field, trying to cut down weeds, um, or even doing any welding or um, uh, metal cutting or anything like that in your vegetative areas. Now, two hand crews will stay on this fire through the night, just keeping an eye on things. Mop-up operations will continue into tomorrow. It's unlikely they'll continue to need air support at that point. It'll mostly be hand crews from here on out. Six different agencies combined to get this fire under control this evening. Covering Firewatch live along I-80, Chris Buckley, Channel 2 News. All right, Chris, thank you.